In this video, I will explain to you how you can instantly deliver files to your customers whenever they are purchasing something from you via Razorpay. As you know, Razorpay is a quite popular payment gateway in India and you can basically set up different kind of payment pages for your customers to purchase your products. Whenever there is a purchase that happens through Razorpay, there is no mechanism inside Razorpay to deliver files. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can deliver files in real time and completely automatically whenever there is a purchase that happens through your Razorpay account. So the first step that we are going to do is we are going to create a payment page. And in this case, what we are going to do is we are going to click on create payment page for product sales. Okay. Uh, we are going to sell a course which is course 101 so this is like a some course random course which i just created uh, and the name of the course is course 101 and i'm just going to write the name and the amount of this course as 101 rupees okay uh, the details that we are asking from customers is his email and the phone number and we are saying that whenever there is a purchase you will receive the files instantly okay so this is something that we are saying to the users that whenever you're going to purchase something you will receive the file instantly on your email okay so we just created a payment page which we can now share to our users or customers and now what we are doing is we are just creating and publishing this page this basically gives us a url which is like a this is specific url which we can share to our customers and they can make a purchase uh, for our course okay so i think everything is done from razor page and we have already created uh, a course which needs to be uh, now purchased by the customers and whenever they are going to purchase the course we instantly want to deliver them a file okay uh, the second step that we have to do is we have to set up a webhook by going to settings webhook okay there can only be one webhook inside Razorpay, so we are just deleting this uh, existing webhook or maybe we can just edit this webhook, okay? Uh, by editing this webhook, we can place a webhook URL right here and then we can say that we want to receive a webhook whenever there is a payment authorized or whenever there is a payment that is captured. Payment authorized and payment captured is equivalent to saying that payment is successful. Whenever there is a payment successful event, we really want to get that data and we want to receive that data at our end. Okay. Uh, before doing that, we need to have some webhook URL on which we want to receive that data. Now to get this webhook URL, we need to open up a website, which is P A B B L Y. Okay. Pabli.com. Now Pabli.com has a software, which is named by the name of connect. And this Pabli connect software allows you to integrate two different applications together. In this case, it will allow us to uh, send a file in real time whenever there is a successful purchase that happens inside Razorpay. You can already sign up a free account. If you don't have a free account, you can just uh, register one. Since I'm already registered, I'm just going to sign in into my account. Okay. Uh, when you sign in, you will see a dashboard which shows multiple application, bunch of application that Pabli provides. The one you are interested in would be the Pabli Connect application. Okay. Within this segment, we will be setting up a new workflow which will say workflow and we will be clicking on create new workflow button right here. Okay. The workflow name is deliver file when sales inside razor pay okay we want to deliver a file whenever there is a successful sale inside razor pay and you will now get a webhook url that you can now copy and you can paste inside your razor pay account okay so this is a way to receive data and information from razor pay to pabli connect whenever there is a successful payment uh, so i'm just saving it and you can see that our web webhook is now saved successfully. Now we are ready to test out this payment page, which we just created by the name of course 101. Okay. So we are just copying this page URL and we are just opening this page URL to make sure that we can now make a purchase. Okay. Uh, before making a purchase, what we are going to do is we have to mention an email address on which we want to receive uh, instructions to download our product. So I'm just mentioning this is uh, this is the page that your customer will see and this is the customer email and 
customer is entering his email and he is entering his phone number as well to make a purchase of this course 101 so now he is just making the purchase he is clicking on pay 101 rupees and then he can basically pay through multiple ways the way he is selecting is through card and then he can mention the card number now razor pay because this is a testing account razor pay provides some test card details which i have which i have already saved here uh, these test card can be made to make test purchases so i just entered the test card here it says 12 and in the year i just mentioned 2022 and in the name of the card holder i am just mentioning magnet marketing and I'm just saying 097 as the CVV, which is a random CF CVV that I just used. And now I'm just clicking on pay 101 rupees and it is going to send a OTP on this number, but I'm saying that I do not want an OTP. So I'm just skipping it. And you can see that it took, it took us to a page where we can either succeed this payment or fail this payment because this is a test payment. So we are just going to make this payment a success. But before doing that payment as success, what I'm going to do is I'm just going move, moving back to Pabli Connect and I'm saying that I'm ready to receive a webhook response which is going to be sent from Razorpay. So I just press this button, capture webhook response. Now I'm going back, uh, I'm pressing this success button and this payment is now successful and a payment is received successfully. I'm moving back to Pabli Connect and you can see that it, re it received the entire event which is payment authorized. Uh, the amount is 101 it adds double zero because this signifies PESA and then you can see a bunch of detail the email address of the person the phone number of the person uh, and all those kind of details now the second thing that we have to do is our file is already stored inside the Google Drive file so whenever there is a successful payment that happens inside uh, this entire course we want to basically uh, send a Google Drive file to that customer. Okay, so we are just going to select Google Drive uh, from this app. So I'm just adding this. Uh, I want to share a file because file is already inside my Google Drive and whenever there is a purchase that happens, I instantly want to share this file to the person who just purchased this product. So I just said that I want to share a file. I pressed on connect button and then I am just authorizing the application by clicking the connect button. Okay. Uh, I chose my uh, email address because this is where all my file reside and I'm just pressing the allow button and you can see this application is successfully authorized and it is now connected. I'm just pressing the save button and as you can see it automatically brought all the files in my account here. So basically what I want to do is I want to uh, give them a file which is named by the name of content marketing for SaaS software. So whenever any person purchases this product, he will instantly receive this file which is already stored inside my Google Drive. You can store a zip file, you can store a, a PNG file, you can store a doc file, Excel file, a, a Word file. You can save just about any kind of file inside your Google Drive folder and you can basically select those files to be delivered whenever there is a successful payment. So in this case, I am selecting content marketing for SaaS software file which will be sent to this person. Uh, and the name of this person will be something which will be captured through the webhook uh, above and you can see the email of this person is appearing in payload payment entity email okay so we are going to select and click on this three dots here because we want to map the data and inside this mapping we want to select payment payload payment entity email which is magnet marketing 251 at gmail.com so i just selected it and there are multiple permission that you can see say give to this person you can say that he can view this file he can edit this file or he can comment this file now depending upon this scenario uh, basically view permission is something that you generally want to do if you if this is a zip file you can definitely give a view permission and person can still download the file so i think view permission is something which is really really good in this scenario uh, we have already mapped the email so whenever there is a successful a payment it will be sent to this email but because we are capturing webhooks in real time every webhook will send different data and depending upon different different emails this person will different emails will receive this specific file with a permission of view i hope you might have understood that i'm just going to save this scenario okay and you can see that this has been saved successfully now this is the customer email screen that i just opened up you can see that his inbox is currently completely empty he cannot access any file right now but what now going to happen is when i'm going to press this send test request button instantly this file will be delivered to him 
So I'm just going to send test request so that we can see the scenario and we can see that test API is successfully executed and you can see a user has been given a permission and this specific permission has been given as a reader permission for this specific user for this specific file. So I'm just saving the scenario and now the amazing thing is you can see that this person has immediately received an email with this specific file. Okay. Now uh, I think I hope this entire scenario is clear to you. You can just save this scenario and this scenario will work. This automation will work every time whenever there is a new purchase that happens through Razorpay through any payment page. So instantly whenever there is a purchase that happens inside Razorpay files will be delivered to this specific user. Uh, every time webhook response is going to be different with different email addresses, it will automatically map and get the new data and it will automatically give this file to that specific email. So let me just give a try again. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open Razorpay dashboard again. I'm going to pay payment pages again. Uh, I'm going to click on uh, 101. I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to copy this again. Okay. Uh, this time what I'm doing is I'm just changing the email by entering dot as well because dot uh, Gmail consider this as a separate email. So I'm saying that I want to receive an email or I want to buy through this email. I'm again putting out a different phone number and I'm saying that I want to pay and buy this product. Okay. Again, I want to buy through a card. You can in fact use your customers will in fact use any payment mode and the file will still deliver to them. Uh, they just mentioned uh, pretty much some detail magnet pably marketing and they are just mentioning a cvv number and they are just paying it okay uh, skip saving card and i want this payment to be successful and this payment is received successfully now we will go back uh, and you can see the instantly another email appeared with this specific detail uh, we got two emails because there are two events that fired up. One was the payment authorized and another was payment captured. If you really want, you can just capture one event from webhook. But still, this is the process that you can follow. Your customers can then access this file by clicking on open in sheets. If this is a doc file, they will still get the file access. But still, I got, I think you totally understood that how you can deliver files uh, through Pabli Connect whenever there is a successful payment through Razorpay. So thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always send your questions at admin at pabli.com. So again, our email address is admin at pabli.com. If you have any questions regarding delivery of file or if you really want to do different kind of things uh, with Razorpay, you can definitely use Pabli Connect for doing that. You can add your leads to a email marketing software to a CRM software, you can issue licenses to your customers, you can um, register your customers to a different software whenever there is a purchase that happens through Razorpay, you can deliver files and you can do tons of amazing stuff with the Pabli Connect software using the Razorpay integration. So I hope you might have got all the data. So if you really want any help, just send us an email at admin at pabli.com.